a very young age. It's crammed into our cranial neurons that water and electricity don't mix. But that couldn't be further from the truth, could it? Water and electricity make the perfect marriage. And the electric eel thrives on that very fact. These little stunners from South America aren't actually eels at all. They're from the knife fish family. Well, aren't actually knives either. This legendary creature uses an electric shock of 650 volts to kill its prey. But believe it or not, even we are capable of generating electricity. In fact, all living animals emit an electric charge during everyday muscular movement. And I can show you how using a shocking experiment. A nerve impulse is an electrical signal running through the length of the nerve, reaching speeds of over 200 miles per hour. So by sending an electrical pulse through my nerves via this contraction, my muscles should contract without me trying. Right, okay, so my producer has the magic button, so any second I should be feeling an electrical pulse. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So right now I'm feeling... <laughs> Oh, that's... Ah! <laughs> that's so... That's so... Me. I can't help it! Look at my hat! Look at that! I'm not doing that! <laughs> this is so strange. I'm not doing that to my muscle. And look at the weird position it's putting my hand in. <laughs> that is so strange. Because water is such a good conductor, each time a fish contracts a muscle, an extremely weak electrical signal pulses through the water. So it's not surprising that predatory creatures like the hammerhead shark can actually detect these electrical signals like a sixth sense. It allows them to find prey even when it's out of sight, hidden beneath the sand. But of course many fish have taken this to the next level and can produce super strength electrical charges. Electric eels have a series of electricity generating cells which pulse and create a sort of electric field around them. If anything comes into this field it bounces back a signal to the eel allowing it to build up a map of its surroundings so it can see even in muddy water. And amazingly if two electric fish come together they will change their individual frequency so they don't jam each other's output. Of course the electric eel can generate its own massive electrical pulse to stun its prey but how? Each electricity producing cell generates just 130 millivolts. So the fish stack them up in series. It's a bit like putting a group of batteries end on end inside a torch to increase the voltage. With as many as 5,000 such cells in series, the fish can generate 650 volts delivered at approximately one amp. That's about the same as a domestic microwave. So just how do they avoid zapping themselves? The truth is, no one really knows for sure, but there are plenty of theories. Firstly, the electric organ is at the base of their tail, far away from the heart, brain and other vital organs, which are situated much nearer the head than in other fish. And because water is more conductive than body tissue, the charge travels away from the fish. It's also thought that many of the vital organs are covered in a layer of fat, insulating them against the dangerous electric charges. And because the supercharged electric blast is delivered just to stun small prey, the current probably doesn't last long enough to shock a large two meter electric eel. For more weird animal questions, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Earth Unplugged. Let's get someone else up. I want revenge. No. Ah! 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 What is getting me? Ah! Oh my God. Go on, give it more. Anyone, oh, oh, I'm <laughs>